So you've just purchased your first Bofang UV5R. Congratulations. In this video, I want to show you some of my favorite accessories to help you get the most out of your new Bofang radio. My name's Mike. You're watching K at MRD Radio Stuff. One of the first accessories you might want to look at for your Bofang is a simple handheld speaker mic. These are great to have, uh, especially if you're in an event where you're going to be talking on the radio a lot. You can leave your radio on your hip or your pocket. You can, uh, it's got a nice kind of doingy bungee thing there so you can maybe run this over your shoulder or keep it uh, attached to your pocket. There's a little clip and then you can just bring this up to your mouth as opposed to unclipping the radio. And uh, they actually sound really good. They're very easy. You just plug it in all the way there and uh, the, the audio out of them is actually pretty darn good. This is what the transmit audio from the Bofang hand mic sounds like. And this is the receive audio on the Bofang hand mic. Okay, to Marty. So there you go, a speaker mic. A lot of times these can be had for anywhere from five to $10. They're very inexpensive, but they work really well. The next thing you might wanna look at is a good programming cable to program your Bofang via a program called Chirp that is downloadable for Mac and Windows and Linux. Uh, this is an FTDI cable, and this part's gonna plug into your computer. This part's gonna plug into your radio. And with Chirp, you can easily program all of your frequencies, your repeaters and everything, download them, upload them to the radio, makes programming a lot easier. This is the PC03 FTDI cable from BTEC, and uh, makes life way easier to program these radios. Another thing to program your radios that I'm a big fan of, especially because I travel a lot, this right here is the TID Radio BL1. This is a Bluetooth programmer that you use your cell phone to program with. So if you're out of town or you're maybe at your friend's house, or you're not, you don't have your computer to program with Chirp, you can bring this little guy. It charges over USB-C and everything is done over Bluetooth. You simply plug this in and then using your cell phone app, uh, on, on your Android or iOS device. You can program all your local repeaters, your frequencies, whatever, especially if you've gone to a new town, uh, you're out of your local area, you can look up repeater book, you can actually use the uh, repeater function that's inside of the app to program uh, this, it'll pull the frequencies there, and then you do it all over Bluetooth, makes it way easier than just about any other programming method. Now that you've got your radio programmed up, you're ready to talk on it. Hey, you're going to make a lot of friends on the repeaters. And well, this stock battery doesn't last very long. It's an 1800 milliamp hour battery. One of the first things you might want to do is upgrade your battery. This is an extended battery. This is a 3800 milliamp hour battery. So uh, much, much longer run time. It also gives the radio uh, a, a bigger feel in the hand. It is substantially bigger than the stock battery that comes with it. So those with bigger hands, uh, the Bofang is kind of a smaller radio. So this helps uh, get a good grip on it. And I mean, days, you'll get days of standby time with this battery on it. Charges just the same with the regular Bofang cradle. There is a little port on here for charging. I've not used that. Be careful the voltage you put into it, but there is a, a coaxial uh, uh, plug that you can use to charge that battery. So uh, great uh, addition to extending the standby and talk time of your Bofang UV5R. And now that you're talking, you might find that, well, you can hit certain repeaters, but you can't hit others. There's a lot of different antennas I like, and one of the bigger ones that I like, these are uh, all the same antenna. These are from a company called Signal Stuff. These are the Signal Stick antennas. They come in multiple different colors, all kinds of colors actually. They're very, very flexible. They can, uh, you can pretty much tie them in a knot. This one in fact glows in the dark. They come with multiple different kinds of connectors. So the Bofang would use this SMA female connector, but they also have BNC, they have SM, uh, SMA male, and these are awesome. These are pretty much a quarter wavelength on two meters, so they're a resonant antenna. You'll get a lot further uh, out with your contacts with this antenna versus the stock antenna. So highly, highly recommend the Signal Stuff Signal Stick antenna. Another great antenna you might want to look at is one from a company called Abri. This is their 18 inch foldable tactical antenna. And this is basically, uh, it's kind of like a tape measure inside and it's designed, you can kind of hear it clicking there. Uh, it's, it's rigid when it's extended, but you can collapse it down 
to a smaller footprint. Again, you have a resonant antenna. It's longer, it's very, very durable, and it's gonna help extend your range when you're talking uh, to your friends on different repeaters uh, all over your region. So the Abri, this is the 18 inch. They come in multiple different sizes. I've had great luck with this one. Now, sometimes when we're talking, we actually don't want our signal to go out any farther than it needs to. Maybe we're in a group at a, at a field day or a ham fest, and there's really no need to have an antenna that's gonna send out a signal very far. So I actually like these short little stubby antennas. I use these a lot. I have them on pretty much all of my HTs, and it's just a tiny little, oh gosh, maybe three inches long tops and they're springy and bouncy. If you, another great thing about these is if you drop your radio, uh, they're, gonna, <laughs> they're gonna spring back and give you some cushion there. So love these antennas. They're very inexpensive. I think you can get two of them for uh, 10 or 12 bucks, maybe 14 bucks. So a great thing to have in the kit there when you're just talking locally. Now, what if you really wanna maximize the capabilities of your UV5R? Well. Antenna, antenna, antenna. Upgrading your antenna is the best thing you can do. This is called the Ed Fong Roll-Up Dual Band 2 meter 70 centimeter J-Pole. And what this is, it's a 300 ohm ladder line and it is designed to roll up. Here's the top here, you just, you clip this on a mast or you, you throw a rope around a tree and, and roll this up. It has about 10 feet of coaxial cable on it, which you can actually uh, detach if you don't need it that long. Uh, it comes with a couple different types of connectors. It standard is, is the BNC that's on there, but there's also an adapter. So you can plug this in and screw that into your radio. But wait, these are both BNC female. Well, it also has a little uh, barrel connector that's SMA female on both sides that you can now screw in to the radio and then you can screw in this adapter, and now you have a way better antenna, and it's up higher, so you can get out a lot farther with this Ed Fong roll-up J-Pole. Lastly is probably one of my favorite things, and it's also the smallest on this list. It's this little adapter. This is an SMA female to BNC female adapter. And the reason I like these is because I often don't use the stock antenna that comes with the Bofang, so if I put this adapter on, I've switched everything uh, pretty much that I have to the BNC connector. So for example, here's a signal stuff signal stick. If I wanna use this, I can just very easily snap it on and off, done and done. Maybe I wanna use my little short stubby antenna. I can just snap it on and off, easy peasy, done and done. Or maybe I have the Ed Fong roll up J-Pole. Take the BNC, on and off, easy peasy, done and done. Very, very useful thing. These are also found on the Signal Stuff, Signal Stick antenna website. I will leave links in the description for all of these.